What would it take to get me to go in a coal mine? <laughs> Nothing. Yes, uh, another Saturday special. Uh, except uh, nothing, nothing too special. Except um, just doing some more, some marketing, you know, some ads for some, some little-known beer companies. Uh, but uh, yeah, other than that, uh, economy's looking okay. Dow's a little sluggish, but um, definitely picking up in the electronics. The Obama administration just released reports stating that the national deficit will be over one trillion for the second consecutive year. This will definitely be affecting elections coming up. You got the Botox, I got the spoon. It turns out the FDA has approved pretty much injecting Botox all over. Uh, one of the newest things is that uh, you can inject it in or around the head to uh, alleviate migraine symptoms. So uh, yeah, watch out for Botox junkies. They're coming to the neighborhood near you. Now Botox is, it's a strange thing. It's, it kind of um, cancels itself out. It has, it has a positive and a negative effect. The negative is that um, you sit around with all these people with Botox shot up in their face and they're yapping and talking and lollygagging and it gives you a migraine. It turns out the very same substance can be used as a migraine treatment. A coal mine explosion in China has killed 21. What's up with these mines? I gotta say, that's like the worst job ever. Man, I would never be caught dead in a mine. If I wasn't a mine, I'd probably be caught dead. Whatever makes more sense. NBC News just leaked that WikiLeaks may leak this weekend. The Pentagon says it could be a big one. Saturday, October 16th, 2010.